In this video of Oracle, we are going to deal with an another database object called sequence. Basically, whenever we start working with the table and we start putting the primary key in a column, we want that any unique value should be there every time when you insert a new record. So sequence actually ensures for doing so because it automatically generates a unique number every time you call it. So after creating a sequence, you can associate this particular sequence with a particular table so that whenever you will insert a data, it will generate a unique next value for a particular column. You can also use the same sequence for multiple tables as it can be shared. So let's find out what all is there in the implementation of a sequence. So before starting the implementation of sequences, I have already created a table in which there is a primary key and I will use my sequence to enter the value in this particular column. So now let's start with the implementation of sequence and for that I will write create sequence. Again I'll have to go for this DDL statement create and then the sequence name. So let's say sample call one gen means generator all right means ID generator or whatever so you can give any particular name from for that and then after uh, multiple attributes for this sequence for example with which particular value you want to start the sequence so here I will specify start with any particular value let's say I take 100 here and after this when you will go for the next value how much you want to add in the current value means it will start with 100 but what you want in the next value whether it's 101 it's 110 or what so for that you will have to specify increment by and here you can specify the value means what is the next value you are expecting and then after if you want to limit something you can go for the max value all right so you can specify the max value uh, which you want to get created for example here I will specify thousand so it will not make it more than thousand alright but if you don't want to go for this you can simply say no max value which is by default as well means if you will not specify anything by default it will take the no max value alright so let's say I have taken max value 2000 and then after you can get a couple of more options like cycle or no cycle cycle means once the value reaches this maximum value it will again start with the previous one with the first value but if you don't want that you can specify no cycle and again no cycle is the default option which is set for any particular sequence after that whenever you want to create the uh, values in a very frequent manner you can actually put some values in the cache so for that you can say cache 10 means by the time you will start consuming the sequence the next 10 values will be stored in the cache so that uh, whenever you will go for the next value you don't have to wait and it will directly be provided by the cache and if you don't want you can simply say no cache alright so by default 20 values are stored the next 20 values are there in the cache every time so rather than 20 I'll just put 10 and let's create this sequence now after this you can if you want to get some information about the particular sequence you can query from user underscore sequences so like here you can see the minimum value maximum value increment by cycle cache whatever is there all the information can be provided for the specific sequence name for example if I want to say if I want to find the max value and increment by from user underscore sequences where sequence underscore name is equal to so the name of the sequence here is sample underscore call one underscore gen means sample table column one column value generator alright 
So, all right, there's a space. Let me remove that. So here you can see increment by one and the maximum value is 1000. That is how we created this sequence. Now, whenever you want to use this particular sequence, what you can do, you can simply name the sequence like that is sample call one gen dot current value and sample underscore call one underscore gen dot next value from dual as we used to use the dual as the virtual table all right so current value is thousand uh, hundred next value is hundred all right so because I have not used this one by the time I will use the current value current value will be hundred and then the next value will become hundred and one all right so let's use it while entering the data so here what I'll do insert into uh, sample values there are a couple of columns in the first column I want to get the values from these uh, this sample uh, sample call one generator that is nothing but a sequence so sample call one underscore gen dot next to well comma in the second I will enter some value at the runtime so for that I'll use the placeholder ampersand and uh, here let's pass value so let's execute this one so enter value for value that is the column 2 let's say AAA one row created again I will enter execute the same statement again I will just put the value for the second column that is let's say BBB and let's query from this particular uh, table that is sample alright so here you can see 100 that is a start with I directly call the next val alright so since here I am inserting as I told you earlier I got 101 102 again if I will enter the execute the same statement let's say CCC and here it will get 103 triple C alright so this is how you can uh, start working with the sequences in your Oracle SQL